Welcome to the shipping station of the treasure chest. We're gonna show you some stuff going out. Uh, I got quite a bit of plush going out the door. First thing going out the door is an ugly plush. It's literally the name of it, ugly. $13.59 plus shipping. It could go in a poly bag, but I'm gonna put it in a box. I put a lot of our stuff in boxes just cause we get the free priority boxes and they don't usually put it much uh, higher into the next bracket for shipping costs. No tape on that one. So, is this, did you know about this one, hon, or did you just comp it as you were going? I've known about the Ugly Doll brand. Um, I think the Pretty Ugly is the na is the brand, um, but Ugly Doll is the, yeah, I don't know. I, but I have heard of the Ugly Dolls before. I've sold I've quite seen, a few of them. I've seen Big Toe in the listing there. Is, is this supposed to look like a Big Toe? I don't think it's necessarily supposed to look like one, but I think that's just this one's name. We store everything in a poly bag, so uh, condensation doesn't get at it and you know, doesn't smell or, you know, absorb any odors. You didn't see the poly bag on it first because I ripped it off so you guys could see it. And I always put a little tissue paper or packing paper in there so nobody cuts into the product. A little thank you note. And that is out the door. Have we sold one of them before? Not that particular one, but we have sold uh, sold ugly dolls before. Yeah. I don't remember seeing them. Sold a little black one once, I remember, a little bat. Got a Webkins going out the door for $11.82 that we listed back in February. I have all the plush on sale right now, which is why we have so many plush solds, trying to thin out some of our plush to allow room for ones that'll sell a little faster. This is going to Seattle, Washington. Uh, priority mail probably could have been first class Janelle gets nervous listing stuff first class in case it goes over that one pound mark Janelle do you, do you only uh, look for webkins with the sealed code because I know this one is a sealed code yeah for the most part um, only the ones with the sealed codes well not only but for the most part the webkins with the sealed codes are you know what sells if they don't have their their code it's you know usually not worth it but there are some that do sell without the codes and uh, you know the rare ones i don't know you know what rhyme or reason it is to those but some of the signature ones i don't know just some some of them are more rare and they Would will you? sell What'd you pay for this webkin? Do you remember? I'm not sure. I feel like with webkins, I either find them at the bins or I'll pay up to two dollars for them. I usually won't really ever pay more than two dollars for them because they generally generally go between ten and fifteen dollars, even with the sealed code tag. They're kind of slow movers too. I noticed sold uh, something that's not quite as exciting as plush for you guys. A uh, fuel filter. I think I got this at our. Amazon or Target bin store. Probably paid like two bucks for it on $2 day. It's out the door for $11.99 plus shipping. And it, it actually paid international shipping to Canada. I don't know much about this, what it goes to. I just listed the part number and it's old. So international orders, we have to know the weight of the item to put on the customs form. So I have to weigh it um, nine ounces. I don't always remember to do that. So I'll guess. Like, I know these boxes are about a half a pound, so I'll just deduct. We've never gotten in trouble for not having the exact weight. Janelle gets very nervous when I do that. <laughs> She's always yelling at me when I forget to weigh an item. Or if I forget how much it is in the weight because I didn't write it down. So I'm not going to write it down right now. <laughs> very important. Uh, don't be afraid of uh, shipping international. Okay. Oh, that sucks. We're back. Don't be afraid of uh, shipping stuff internationally. It's not that difficult, actually. I mean, you got to go an extra step and fill out your customs form, which is the weight of the item. I am totally messing up today. I forgot to put the webkin thank you in. Um... I mean, you gotta, and you gotta find the right code for the item, uh, harmonization code. 
Pirate ship makes that pretty easy though. Yeah, they give you the catalog on how to look it up and everything. So, I mean, it's it's intimidating at first, but once you do it, it's not that bad. It's really not. I mean, we don't, I don't think we really, we offer global shipping program on our store for all of our listings. And I don't think anybody ever selects it because our international shipping is so cheap with the pirate ship. And, we hardly have any issues. I, I mean, you'll have the occasional issue just like any other shipping that you do, but it's been all right for us. And I don't know, what would you say, honey? Maybe 20% of our orders are international. I so it's, say a yeah, we get a lot so, yeah. of international sales. So to, to not do international sales, that's, that's a huge hit in your bottom line. I'm not going to take this one out of the bag. I'll try not to crinkle the plastic too much on my mic. It's a baby gun uh, security blanket thing. It's a little bit larger one. Is, would this be called a lovey, honey? Yeah, one of those one of those things you lay on the floor and then the baby can lay on it. It's it's listed as a security blanket, lovey, comfy, cozy kind of things. And again, this is not going to break. I could put it in a poly bag. And if you guys do poly bags, great. Throw it in a poly mailer and away it goes. Uh, again, I, I don't know. Just I don't ship like me guys i go way overkill it's just the way i am i care about presentation it's not a huge deal it's, i guess you could call it an ocd thing with me but i get free boxes from the post office why not use them <laughs> you know it's a nice pretty white box on the doorstep looks better than a bag people may appreciate a bag better because it'll fit in their mailbox and not just be thrown on their doorstep when they're at work so i you know there's, there's two sides to the story maybe even four sides if you come up with more excuses i don't know also they don't have a box to try to get rid of throw out whatever depending on you know if you're not a reseller viewer of ours tell me what you think do you appreciate uh receiving boxes in the mail and then you got to find a way to dispose of the box or are you okay just receiving poly bags on your doorstep yeah, we've we've gotten things in poly bags in the mail. I mean, yeah, that hasn't. I don't know. It just doesn't doesn't this look good though? A nice pretty white box on your door. It does. feels like feels like Christmas. And that's going to San Diego, California. Sure wish I was there right now. Sold a Wonder Woman figure, a little action figure, six ninety nine plus ship. That's going first class, and I will stick that in a poly mailer just because of how cheap it sold for. It's actually going to the next city over, Syracuse. And the reason we're selling cheap action figures is because we got a whole bin of action figures. It was just a big mess to go through. So we picked out some valuable ones. We picked out some not valuable ones. It's like we had these big pile of action figures that we could have just, you know, gotten rid of that weren't that valuable. Or we could just list them. So I spent a Saturday listing a bunch of action figures that really weren't of much value. And, uh still make some money on it get some of our money back on that action figure haul that'll work got a journal planner sold for 57 dollars plus shipping and this was actually returned to us so we're sending this back out a second time hopefully it does not come back this time well i guess first off hon why is this 57 dollars well that patricia nash is a is a good brand i guess and I told my mom about finding this journal. She said that she um, makes purses in that too, and that they're, you know, they're they're worth a good bit. So yeah, I never heard of it before. I just saw the planner, I saw the brand, the name on it, and I looked it up, and it, you know, came up. All, not this particular one. Cause there's a bunch of different colors and designs for these planners. Why was it returned? What was the they reasoning? They said that they just didn't like the color. Which I guess is understandable. I mean, I'm okay with them returning it. I we accept returns. Uh, we do 30-day return where the buyer has to pay shipping for the return unless, um, you know, obviously if it's a defective pr product or something that was on our fault, we will pay the return shipping. Where'd you find this? A regular Goodwill store. I, um, I feel like I paid 4 or $5 for it. Is there, is Patricia Nash like easy to spot or do you, you got to like kind of see it? You know, I should research it a little bit more. I don't know. I, uh, I, on here, I don't even remember exactly where it's, I think it says Patricia Nash on the inside. As far as the purses go, I don't know. I don't know her emblem or, you know, so I, I should research that a little bit maybe so I know what to look for. I, I know Lisa Frank is good too for yeah. organizers and 
she's pretty easy to spot. Yeah, her stuff. that's that's very easy to spot. So the American Girl doll, Kaya's Kaya's Beaver, uh, out the door for seventeen dollars and ninety nine cents plus shipping. And honey, this does not look like American Girl doll to me. So why? What makes this American Girl? Well, it says American Girl on the tag. And I guess with some of the dolls, you know, they would come with a little, a little pet, a little, you know, animal, depending on, depending on the doll and the theme. American Girl doll is something to watch for. It's uh, pretty sought after if you don't already know. Um, it's, usually we don't ever find it at all. No. I don't think, I don't think we've ever, yeah, I don't think we've ever scooped up American Girl doll stuff. I actually found one at the the good uh, Goodwill store a while back. Had to clean it up a bit, but this is going first class shipping. And I'm just using uh, these eBay boxes. The eBay boxes we get for free with our coupon for having a store subscription. It's not really free because you pay for the store subscription and you get a little money back to buy some boxes. And the boxes on there are very overpriced if you're to buy them out of pocket. So. I don't know. I think they're purposely overpriced so they can give you a big coupon and be like, wow, look at all this money you get to go buy shipping supplies from the eBay store. When really that money doesn't really go that far because the stuff's expensive. Well, and it's got the eBay name on there. Yes, it's got the eBay name. Gotta have the eBay name. Very fancy. And you guys are about to laugh at me on how I tape up these uh, little 4x4 four four boxes. Can never be too careful. We use a lot of tape in this shed. You know what? I did have, when we went to the post office to drop packages off, I was questioning the, uh, not mail carrier, what, what are the clerks at the, clerks, clerks. at the desk? Yeah. yeah. I was questioning her about the, you know, packaging stuff, and I said, you, you guys must get a lot of mail that just ends up you know, dead because I mean, if a box were to break open, they didn't package it right and it broke open and the label was damaged, you, what do you do with it? You know, and I was kind of asking, and she agreed. She said, Yes, we do have that happen a lot. She goes, That's why you always, you know, extra tape your packages, lots and lots of tape. So since then, I, I taped the heck out of my packages. Sold some tech software from, man, it's not that, you know, 2019, it's actually from. And it's out the door for $55 plus shipping. I have no idea why someone would want 2019 because it's off the 2019 tax code. Um, I'm kind of hoping this doesn't come back. So we'll see, it's, it's sealed in there, but you can hear the CD rattle in there. So I'm hoping that's okay too. We'll see what happens. I wonder if they're amending their taxes. Maybe they gotta go back and fix something. So they need that tax code. I mean, we've had to go back and fix something on our taxes before. Yeah, so I, I thought the same thing. I didn't think that people would be buying them from years past, but but yeah, they did. I actually found this at the one of our Amazon bin stores on $5 day, yep. I mean, the, the owner, he buys pallets and he puts them in bins. That's pretty much all he does, um, which is kind of cool. Which is kind of cool because then we get to pick cherry pick the pallet, so to speak, right? So we don't have to buy a whole pallet of stuff that we don't want to sell. But it used to be uh, seven dollars was the the restock day. They'd start out at seven dollars and then go down to two dollars and one dollar. Uh, but now they start out at five dollars. I don't know why. Maybe he realizes he moves more inventory at five dollars. But we're okay with five dollars. We'll, we'll go for five dollars. I'm totally overdid this, but whatever. I mean, he did pay fifty-five dollars for that, so. If you want to see the most extreme shipping, watch our shipping videos. Finally sold some Sunita, Sunita, is that the name? Yeah, I think so. Sunita clogs for $14.99 plus shipping. I say finally, because we listed them suckers back in July of 2021. We are now in April, actually going into May. 
So good to see them go almost a full year. And they're not the most exciting color and design. Yes. That's uh, Janelle's right. The color and pattern are huge with uh, clogs. We had a black, plain black pair. Man, we just could not get rid of them. I finally sold them. I, I don't know what we sold them for, but it was a lot less than we anticipated to sell them for. So me and Janelle have a little friendly disagreement, friendly argument on our poly bags. I got, I probably got like eight different sizes of these because of the way they come. They come in eight different sizes when you order them. Janelle will naturally just grab the largest bag. Come on, it'll fit in the largest bag. So I'll just use the largest bag for everything. And so I'll pull stuff out of the inventory and it's got bag wrapped all the way around it. Whereas me, OCD again, I'll try to find the perfectly sized bag to put it in. And then I, I give Janelle a hard time because she'll come to me and say, we're out of the largest bag that we got. I'm like, well, it's probably because you're not using the smaller bags. So there, there's no right or wrong. I'm not, I mean, it's, it's fun. We just, we, little something we pick on each other on about in the shed. When we first started, we were doing like a lot of, kind of a lot of electronics, not a ton, but we do electronics, VCRs, uh, DVD, VCR combos, uh, some stereo equipment. And that sucked the ship. I, I, man, I'd take, I mean, you make money on it, but you, you got a half an hour and trying to pack it up, worry about it getting dropped, and then uh, worry about it not working by the time it gets there. But I, I, I don't know, Janelle's been doing really good at finding a lot of little stuff. Like we got a couple bins, small bins, just filled with small things that are kind of valuable and we've been sending them out. What, what got you to find more smaller things? Well, you just, you know what it is about you though? You got the patience to dig through a big box of small junk and find the 20, 30, $40 items in there. Oh yeah, I'll dig through. I, uh, that's why I love the Goodwill bins. I dig through those bins and I, yep, I. Not me, I can't do it. That's okay, I'll do it. That's my favorite. I love the treasure hunting. Sold some Josh's Jack cereal uh, for the Buffalo Bills, Josh Allen. I bought a bunch of these. Not, I shouldn't say a bunch. I bought like five of these yeah. at our local grocery store when these were out because it was a limited uh, supply. And I maybe paid four or five dollars, four dollars a box. This one sold for seventeen dollars and ninety nine cents, and we've sold a couple now. I think we got a few left over. These are actually going to Canada which I'd like to know the story on that. Are they from Buffalo or do they follow the bills? I don't know. We follow the bills. We love the bills. <laughs> so this is international. I got to use a regular brown box. Um, typically, I mean, with international orders, we try to, you want them light as possible because you go up another pound, the price jumps a lot. But because of this cereal box being a collectible and it can increase or dent very easily, I'm gonna probably keep this box full and try to float the box inside this box. Shout out to my coworkers that already handed me these uh, little air pillows. I do have these. And then I'll throw them in there. They're virtually weightless. Throw some of them in there. And I'll wrap this in small bubble wrap. It's not gonna do anything but presentation. Set that right in there. Isn't that nice? Very nice. Very nice. Huh. Some more of them guys. And then we'll go a little. Float it right in there. Another thing we sold is a Johnson & Johnson Star Rattle for $10. And that was listed just uh, back in February, a couple months ago. Found it at the, at the Goodwill bins. I, I actually have another one of those too. I had found two. Um, I, feel like the comps were better <laughs> when I checked it and bought it. Um, I mean, it doesn't weigh very much. I probably paid maybe, you know, for the price of wares at the bins, I probably paid 40 cents. You got it listed but... for first class too, so I'll just yeah. throw it in one of these. Nothing special. 
Yeah. Hey, it's still sold. So what would you, what'd you pay for that, you think? I mean, it's 40 cents a pound. So probably, probably not even, so maybe 25 cents, because that probably doesn't weigh a pound. Right? Yeah, and there's no, I mean, so, I mean, obviously we try not to sell a ton of these $10 items just because it's worth our time and stuff, but we'll probably make, I don't know, five, six dollar profit on it by the time we're done with the box and stuff. I mean, it didn't take me much of any time to uh, pack this. Apparently I put the wrong thank you in something. Huh. Someone's getting a rattle, thank you. That's what happens when I try to shoot a video while I'm packing. So thanks for hanging out with us. I'm going to get these uh, shipping labels printed up. If you didn't had your fix, there's two more videos here you can check out. And we'll see you on the next one. Give us the old thumbs up if you liked what you saw.